So in this particular one, I'm trying to find the area in the perimeter of a parallelogram. So the first thing I need to do is get my rest of my sides labeled. So I got seven eighths here and two thirds here. Seven eighths plus seven eighths gets me fourteen eighths. Two thirds and two thirds is four thirds. This particular case, my least common denominator is going to be 24, which is the same thing I'm going to get when I cross multiply. So let's just do my cross multiplying. 14 times 3 is 42. 4 times 8 is 32. 42 plus 32 equals 74. 74, 24. It's going to go in there three times. 3 times 24 is 72. So I got 3 and 2 24, so which can be simplified to 3 and 1 12 inches. Let's try out the area then. Area of a parallelogram is just base times height. So 7 eighths times 3 fifths. Top times top is 21. Bottom times bottom is 40. Uh, if they're not both even, can I can divide the top by 3, but I can't divide the bottom by 3. It looks, looks like, like that's, that's it. it. Simplified. Twenty-one fortieths square inches. Here's one for you to try out. All right. Perimeter. Remember, first thing is just get all your other sides in and labeled. Three fourths and three fourths would be six fourths. Two fifths and two fifths is four fifths. So I'm adding 6 fourths plus 4 fifths. This looks like another one that's working good for cross multiplying because four, the least common denominator of 4 and 5 is 20. So 4 times 5 equals 20. 6 times 5 is 30. 4 times 4 is 16. 30 twentieths plus 16 twentieths equals 46 twentieths. 20 is going to go into 46 two times. With the remainder of 6, so 2 and 6 twentieths, they're both even. Divide the top and bottom by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 20 divided by 2 is 10. 2 and 3 tenths inches for the perimeter. And my area is just base times height, so 3 fourths times 1 third. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. This one can be simplified again. I divide the top and bottom both by 3, which is going to give me 1 fourth square inches. Let's go to the trapezoid. Perimeter real fast. I'm just adding all my sides together. Uh, I'm going to add all of the ones that have thirds together because I have three numbers that have a third. So 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds. And then I have the one half left, so four thirds plus a half. The least common denominator is going to be the six, so I'm cross multiplying. Three times two is six. Four times two, eight. One times three is three. Eight six plus three six equals eleven six. When I divide that one out, it's going one time with the remainder of five, which equals one and five six inches. For area. A little more interesting. My trapezoid area down here at the bottom, one half times the height, which is one fourth, times parentheses base one, two thirds, plus base two, one half. First thing I need to do is my part that's in parentheses. And unfortunately, they don't have the same denominator, so I'm going to have to change them to get them to be the same denominator. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. And 1 times 3 is 3. 4, 6 plus 3, 6 equals 7, 6. That's okay for right now. Just leave it that way as an improper fraction. So I got 1 half times 1 fourth times 7, 6. Just like I said, it's way better to leave it as an improper fraction for now. And then when we get finished, we see if we need to do anything with it. So I have top times top times top. 1 times 1 times 7 equals 7. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 6, 48. 7 48 square inches. And we didn't have to do anything that happened with that improper fraction. So that was nice. Here's the last problem. You get to try it out yourself. 
All right, let's see what numbers we got that we're adding up. For perimeter, one half plus one half is two halves, plus three fourths, plus five six. And I know people are looking at it going, yuck, 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 yuck. yuck. We got three num three totally different denominators. Well, we need to get them to a common multiple. So let's see, six, twelve. 18, 24, 4, 8, 12. Hey, I got a 12 there, and 12 is even, so I know 2 is going to work. So 12 is what I want my new denominator to be. So for me to get the 2 to be a 12, I'm taking the bottom times 6, which means I'm also taking the top times 6. So I got 12 twelfths plus to get the 4 to have a 12 on the bottom. I need to take it times 3, and if I take the bottom times 3, I'm taking the top times 3, so that is now 9 twelfths. And to get the 6 to be a 12 on the bottom, I need to take it times 2, so I'm taking the 5 times 2, which equals 10. If I add them up now, 12 twelfths plus 9 twelfths plus 10 twelfths. 12 plus 9 is 21, plus 10 more, 31 twelfths. Divide it out, going 2 times. With a 7 for a remainder equals 2 and 7 twelfths inches. Not too bad. All right, let's try out the area. Remember, area of a trapezoid is 1 half times your height, which is 2 fifths, times base 1, 5 6 plus 3 fourths. All right, I need to do the part that's in parentheses first, so 5, 6 plus 3 fourths. I could cross multiply. It's going to give me something that I need to simplify a little bit, so instead, I'm just going to get them to the LCM, least common denominator, least common multiple, which is 12, because this would have been 6, 12, 18, 4, 8, 12. We just found that when we were adding them up, right? So as long as you can remember that. 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times 3 is 18, 20 twelfths plus 18 twelfths, 38 twelfths. If you would have went the other way, it just said 6 times 4 is 24, and use that for your least common denominator, you would have ended up with 76 twenty-fourths. So now I have 1 half times 2 fifths times 38 twelfths. 1 times 2 is 2, times 38 is 76. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 12 is 120, 76 over 120, I can divide them both by 2, and we get 38 sixtieths, they're both still even, let's divide them by 2 again, and this time I have 19 over 30, 19 thirtieths square inches. This video should help you with finding the area and perimeter of rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids if you have fraction length sides. If you notice down at the bottom, I have all the formulas for the areas for you. Uh, perimeters always just add all the sides going around. So let's start with the first one. We have a rectangle, so I want to find the perimeter of it. One thing I need to do is get all my sides labeled. And then perimeter just means add all the sides. So 7 eighths plus 7 eighths equals 14 eighths, and 1 half plus 1 half is 2 over 2. This should be a plus sign because I'm adding them. 14 eighths plus 2 halves. Uh, I can get the denominator the same by getting it to an 8. So I need to take this 2 times 4 to get it to be an 8 on the bottom. And if I took the bottom times 4, I'm taking the top times 4, which equals 8. 14 eighths plus 8 eighths equals 22 eighths. Divide it out. Goes 2 times equals 16. So 2 and 6 eighths, which can be simplified by dividing, since both of these are even, the 6 and 8, both parts of my fraction are. I'm still having the same big 2. 6 divided by 2 gets me a 3, and 8 divided by 2 gets me a 4. So 2 and 3 fourths inches for my perimeter. Let's try out the area. Area of a rectangle just equals length times width. So I'm just doing 1 half times 7 eighths. When I multiply fractions, it's top times top over bottom times bottom. 
So top times top equals 7. Bottom times bottom, 2 times 8 is 16. 7 sixteenths. Don't even have to simplify. That one's done. 7 sixteenths square inches. Here's one for you to try out. Get my sides on there. Start adding. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 6 fourths. A third and a third is 2 thirds. This time to get the least common denominator, I'm going to cross multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 4 times 2 is 8. 18 twelfths plus 8 twelfths equals 26 twelfths. Divide it out. There's 2 twelfths and 26. 2 remainder 2. So I got 2 and 2 twelfths. Again, I can divide both parts of my fraction by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. 2 and 1 6 inches. Let's try out the area. Length times width, 1 third times 3 fourths. Top times top is 3. Bottom times bottom is 12. 3 twelfths. Can I simplify that? They're not both even, but I can divide them both by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So my area is only 1 4 square inches. If you notice so far on the rectangle, the perimeter number is usually going to be bigger whenever I'm using fractions, because when I'm multiplying fractions together, the number just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And when I'm adding them for the perimeter, my number is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so you, it got over one hole. In fact, I think on some of them it got over two. Try out a triangle real fast. Add all my sides together for the perimeter. I've got 11 twelfths plus 5 six plus 5 six. Uh, right away I notice I can do 5 six plus 5 six is 10 six. So this part's gone. So now I have 11 twelfths plus 10 six. I could cross multiply. I can also just look at this and say, oh, I can take 6 times 2. It's going to get me to 12, so 12 is going to be a better lower common denominator than multiplying and get 72, because that would involve lots of simplifying. So since I took the bottom times 2, i got to take the top times 2, so this is 20 twelfths. 11 twelfths plus 20 twelfths equals 31 twelfths. Divide it out, goes 2 times, 7 left over, so 2 and 7 twelfths inches all the way around. Let's try out my area. Try my area of this one. Simplify it. Area of a triangle is 1 half times the base, which is 11 twelfths, times the height, which is also 1 half. People sometimes wonder, how can I multiply three numbers together like that? Well, when I'm doing fractions, that would just really mean top times top times top times top, however many numbers you got, over bottom times bottom times bottom. So top times top, 1 times 11 is 11, times 1, 11. Bottom times bottom, 2 times 12 is 24, and then I got 24 times 2, 48. So my area is 11 48 square inches. Here's one for you to try out. Okay, perimeter, I'm just adding all the sides. So I got 2 thirds plus 1 third plus 1 half. I noticed that 2 thirds plus 1 third is 3 thirds, which also just means one hole. So I got one hole plus a half, one and a half inches done. If you went ahead and changed them to get the same denominator, so you ended up with 6 over 6 plus 3 over 6 equals 9 over 6, and then when I simplify it, I still should have ended up with 1 and 3 6, which equals 1 and 1 half. Uh, let's try out the area. 1 half times the base, which is 1 third, times the height, which is 1 fourth, here we go. Top times top times top. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Times 4 is 24. 1 24.